Welcome to a much needed body reset day. Over the last, I don't know, month and a half or so, maybe even the last two months, I just have been neglecting taking care of my body in the way that I'm used to, in a way that makes me feel good. And a lot of that was due to an immense amount of travel that I had over the last couple of months. I was essentially living off of airport food. I had very limited access to gyms at any given time, let alone even just time to work out. And my sleep schedule was pretty much ruined between traveling on the East Coast, back to the West Coast. I mean, you name it. And I just feel like my body could not catch a break. And then on top of that, with some mental health issues, it was just, it was a lot. So I wanted to dedicate this entire day just to doing what feels good for my body. What has worked for me in the past in terms of like fueling my system, making me feel recharged, and then also trying some new things. So I'm gonna take you guys along with a little body reset day. Beginning first with, of course, a little bit of caffeine. My first step of the day is just moving my body and I wanted to do that in one of my favorite yoga classes. This is also a heated class, so it was not only a little extra challenging, but it helped soften up my muscles a little bit, kind of aided in getting that flexibility back into my system. And it just felt so good to move and stretch in a way that felt nice. And it was just such a wonderful morning yoga class to start off this entire body reset dedicated day. I feel like this couldn't be a true body reset day without getting some healthy greens into my system. I always like to hide mine in some kind of smoothie or in this case, a smoothie bowl. I've been really into making them lately and I added some key lime pie protein powder <laughs> into this mix, which is just perfect because it is incredibly green, as you can see right here. Then I always just top this with my favorite fruits. I have blueberries and strawberries and bananas on hand almost always. Added a little granola, some coconuts, some chia seeds. And then I've really been into heating up nut butters, like peanut butter, almond butter, you name it, just like 30 seconds in the microwave and drizzling it on top, throwing some sea salt on there. And it is a wonderful breakfast or lunch or whatever time of day, healthy, healthy meal. And then once my stomach is full, that's always whenever I take any kind of supplements or vitamins. I don't always take all of these every single day, but these are my main go-tos. Vitamins B and D are the main ones that really, really seem to help me out. And then whenever I feel like my cortisol levels are spiking, I always gravitate towards 5-HTP and ashwagandha. And then here and there, I take CLA as well. All right, okay, so next on the agenda is something I have never done before. I am really excited to try it out. As a part of this whole holistic body reset day that I'm dedicating to myself, I wanted to visit a wellness studio, which I believe in general, a wellness studio is still like a relatively new concept, but here in Los Angeles, there's a chain called Pause, and I've been really eager to try them out. So I booked myself a little appointment today, and that's where we are headed next. These studios in particular, they at least have a pretty wide menu as far as things that you can book, like LED light therapy, I think they have compression therapy, IV drips, vitamin shots, all that kind of stuff. They have those float chambers, which I do want to try that at some point. Those seem really, really cool. But what I am doing today is I'm taking advantage of 
two of their services, but it's also really just one service. It's combined. I'll explain. I am partaking in what they call Contrast 30. They also have a Contrast 60. One is 30 minutes, which is the one I'm doing because it's my first time doing this and I just want to see if I enjoy it. And then the other one is 60 minutes. But the Contrast part of this wellness service is that you go in between cold plunging and an infrared sauna back to back for um, a couple of different times, I believe. I think you do like three minutes in one, nine minutes in the other, and then switch again until the 30 minutes is up. And I have to be honest, I am a little terrified of the cold plunge because I know it's all the rage. I get it. I understand that people love their cold plunging and their ice baths and cold showers and all that. It has never intrigued me. <laughs> it has never intrigued me at all. My life is on cold mode. I am just like a small human, slightly anemic, just always cold all the time. So for me, my life is a cold plunge. So I didn't really ever see the point in actually giving it a shot. I do love saunas though. Absolutely love a sauna. Could live in a sauna. Any day, any time, I'll live in a sauna. But the beauty of this contrast therapy is that it really improves like lymphatic circulation, which I thought was interesting. And I figured I would want to try something new. So at least I do have the reward of like being in a sauna and experiencing the heat in contrast to the cold plunge. <laughs> but we're going to see how this goes. It's supposed to be really good for your muscles. It's really, really good for your mental health as well. I think it helps drastically with anxiety which you girls got. And there's a good deal of research saying that it helps support your immune system as well. So all of those things sound great. Will I completely regret this once I'm submerged in cold water? Maybe. We'll see. But since I am doing a total body reset, why not try something new? This may be something that I absolutely fall in love with and will want to implement as a part of like a monthly routine of mine or whatever it be. I'm excited to go check it out. Let's see how it goes. This wellness studio was absolutely beautiful. I got a little tour of the sensory deprivation tanks and all of the different amenities they have. This is my specific room, which has the cold plunge and the sauna in it. They also give you a shower to rinse off afterwards, which is really, really handy and convenient. And then this is my Everest. You guys, I thought I could do it. I thought I'd be fine. Look at me, I'm so prepared and ready and immediately it's painful. I don't know how y'all do it. I uh, applaud you, um, but this is more my element, <laughs> the sauna. I had such a shift in my mood whenever I entered the sauna. It was so nice. I felt so much better. But since this is a contrast 30, I go back into the cold plunge and miserable yet again. It's painful. Not for me. Just got to say, not for me. The contrast between me being in the cold plunge versus being in the sauna <laughs> is uh, pretty obvious how I feel about both experiences, but all in all, I would absolutely do it again. I think it was really great. I loved trying something new. And of course, being able to just shower off and go about my day immediately after was so convenient. Though I did already get my exercise and movement in for the day whenever I practiced yoga this morning, there is just something about getting outdoors that immensely benefits both my mental health and physical health as well. And it could be just the vitamin D from the sunshine. It could be fresh air in my lungs, but I wanted to get some fresh air, get outside, touch some grass, and make sure that I was just getting a good walk in and what a convenient day to do it because the farmer's market was there and I wanted to grab just some produce for meal prepping. So it was very serendipitous, definitely was in sync with my body reset day. So I was able to sample some amazing produce and also purchase some for my meal prepping later.
since now that I am back home, the meal prep begins, I've really been in the habit of making some kind of base. So this is going to be a sweet potato, quinoa, orange bell pepper, and cherry tomato base of vegetables and grains. That's kind of what I've been prepping in advance, and then I will either add in tofu or salmon or tilapia. Even though I pretty much follow a plant-based diet, I have been eating fish pretty frequently lately, and it's really been making me feel good, so I don't know exactly what you know vitamins or if it's the fish oil that's making me feel great, um, but I don't want to meal prep fish, <laughs> so I have just been making that on the one-off basis, and then I will pair it with this. So that's kind of what I've been doing lately, and it's been working quite well, but I just wanted to make sure that I had some good micro and macro nutrients ready to go so that way it's easy for me to grab whenever I'm hungry as opposed to opting into something a little less nutritious but also convenient. And for the final and most relaxing probably part of this entire body reset day is first and foremost just taking off my makeup and then I am treating myself to a nice bath. I'm just adding in a little bit of Epsom salt, some foaming bath, and then also a little bath bomb as well. It was nothing too, too crazy. I didn't spend an enormous amount of time in the bath, just enough time for me to unwind, let my muscles soak. And then of course I end my evening with skincare. I was sent this Banish skincare. This is not sponsored by any means, but they sent me this vitamin C serum, also a vitamin C face lotion or cream, I guess it's called and then an eye cream as well and again not sponsored but I love it my skin feels so incredibly good whenever I've been using it and I also want to emphasize that skincare extends to your body this is something I've had to remind myself of over and over but I also want to hydrate my whole entire body so I have been in the practice of doing that before bed especially as someone who has habitually dry skin and then the final staple of the evening is just getting comfy and cozy in some of my fancier pajamas, so that way I could just end my evening in the most luxurious way. Let me know what you guys are doing to practice some self-care, some body reset routines of your own. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video, and I will see y'all in the next one.